This YouTube video brought to you courtesy of ChatGPT with GPT-4. No affiliation. What were my instructions to ChatGPT? A copy-pasted URL to our YouTube channel plus write my next video's script. I also gave it four other prompts to tweak the way it wrote the script and the average character length of each prompt was 120 characters. Let's see how it did. Proper fueling and hydration are essential components of any successful workout. Mostly true. Based on the expert advice of Dr. Alex Harrison and the latest scientific research, that's that's definitely true. We've got some top tips to optimize your performance during your training sessions. I hate the word tips. First, let's discuss fueling. Consuming carbohydrates during your workout can help improve endurance. Maintain blood glucose. Maintain blood glucose. Well, I have the same difficulty reading my own scripts as I have reading GPT scripts. It's not that hard. Maintain blood glucose levels and even prevent muscle damage. Mm, yes, really tangential. That's like preventing muscle damage is not the reason to fuel with carbohydrates during endurance training. Traditionally, it has been recommended to aim for 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour during workouts lasting longer than 75 minutes. Eh, fair. However, recent research has shown that there may be benefits to consuming up to 120 to 130 grams of carbohydrates per hour, especially for high intensity and ultra endurance activities. This can help maximize performance and delay the onset of fatigue. Very good, GPT. Another emerging concept is scaling your carbohydrate intake hourly during training or racing relative to the duration of the session. Also very good. This means adjusting your carbohydrate consumption based on the intensity and length of your workout, providing your body with the optimal fuel it needs at each stage of the activity. There are various sources of carbohydrates to choose from, such as energy gels, chews, or sports drinks. Experiment with different products and find what works best for your body and taste preferences. It's literally regressing to the internet mean of trial and error is the way to go. There's a better way. And that better way is use drinks when you have gut issues, then move into gels and then maybe choose. Now let's talk hydration. Hey, just a quick pause on the GPT thing. If you're ever wondering how much carbohydrate intake or hydration is optimal for you, the app that Michelle and I have been working on might be helpful. More on that at the end of the video. Nice segue there. Maintaining an adequate fluid balance during exercise is vital for optimal performance. Dr. Harrison recommends monitoring your individual sweat rate to tailor your hydration strategy. No, Dr. Harrison does not recommend doing that. To calculate your sweat rate, weigh yourself before and after a workout, accounting for any fluids consumed during the session. You could do that. It's overkill, and you really can listen to thirst as long as you consume enough sodium. This will give you an estimate of how much fluid you lose per hour, which can guide your hydration plan. Yes, it can guide your hydration plan if those exact conditions and clothing and radiant heat and wind velocity and insert 30 other things ever present exactly like that again. Training status, hydration status, um, yeah, the list goes on. A good rule of thumb is to aim for 16 to 32 ounces of fluid per hour depending on your sweat rate, the intensity of your workout, and the environmental conditions. The intensity and the environmental conditions and clothing and whatever else, they all feed into the sweat rate. And sweat rate is the only reason to change your fluid consumption rate, just to be clear. 16 to 32 ounces is a really vague range. For workouts lasting longer than an hour, consider incorporating a sports drink with electrolytes to maintain proper fluid and electrolyte balance. There's no reason not to have a sports drink in shorter workouts, and a generic sports drink recommendation here makes me LOL. In addition to fluid intake, it's important to consider sodium consumption during your workouts. Sodium is a key electrolyte that helps regulate fluid balance, supports muscle function, and prevents hyponatremia, which is a dangerous drop in blood sodium levels. Yes, it is important to have sodium in most workouts, not all, and yes, it is a key electrolyte that regulates fluid balance uh, and assists in muscle function, yes, but mostly it's just about fluid balance and blood volume and cardiac output. Oh, and avoiding hyponatremia, of course. The amount of sodium needed during exercise varies greatly depending on individual sweat rates and the sodium concentration in your sweat. True and true. As a general guideline, aim for 300 to 700 milligrams of sodium per hour during endurance activities. As a general guideline, try 300 to 1500 milligrams per hour, unless it's very hot and you're very sweaty or are a very salty sweater and then maybe even higher. However, some athletes may require more, particularly in hot and humid conditions. Many athletes will require and benefit from much more than 700 milligrams of sodium per hour. Sports drinks and electrolyte supplements can help you meet your sodium requirements during exercise. Be sure to check the label for sodium content and adjust your consumption accordingly. 
And as always, it's crucial to listen to your body and tailor your sodium and fluid intake to your specific needs. Watch our sodium video to figure out how to listen to your body and then how to tailor your sodium needs based on that. Remember, everyone's fuel and hydration needs are unique. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your strategy accordingly. Keep experimenting and refining your approach to find the perfect balance that works for you. That is like my pet peeve numero uno advice, which is just keep experimenting. Instead, read and learn, maybe watch our videos and learn, and then execute. And you probably won't need to experiment very much. And then it says, you'll become the hydration guru that everyone turns to for advice. Maybe, maybe so, GPT. In conclusion, fueling and hydration are crucial elements of a successful workout. Not all the time, but yes, that's a generally good recommendation, generally true statement. We're here to make sure you're well equipped to tackle them with confidence. Uh, we are. We are here for that. Remember, it's essential to listen to your body, experiment with different approaches, and adjust your strategy as needed. After all, we're athletes, not robots. We are athletes, and we are not robots, and psychology is important, and lots of other things are important, but the experiment and trial and error thing gets way overdone. First learn, and then go execute. So, as you embark on your fitness journey, don't forget to have a little fun with it. Embrace your inner carbohydrate connoisseur and fluidologist while keeping a healthy dose of self-satire in mind. One of my prompts for GPT was that I like to use self-satire in my videos. Not sure what the perfect balance of fuel and hydration and electrolytes is for you or how to put it together in an airtight plan you can have confidence in? Well, you're in luck. Hope you all enjoyed this ChatGPT produced video. If you're considering taking your endurance nutrition to the next level, why not give our app a try? It's like having an endurance nutrition coach right in your pocket. With just a few minutes of your time, you can create a free account, true, and tell Saturday a bit about yourself, true. Our app will guide you on how to use products you're already familiar with, but in a way that's tailored to your unique needs, true, true, true. If you want your nutrition to be as dialed in as your training, or you simply want to support the work we do, go ahead and download the app and subscribe. We're committed to continually developing new features, true, to make it an even more useful tool for our rapidly growing subscriber base. I love how it just like pushes the the fact that we're growing rapidly, uh, the social proof thing. It's like doing the social proof thing for us. I love it. So take the plunge and let our app be your trusty companion in achieving your fitness goals. Happy training. Let us know in the comments what you think of GPT-4 and what you think it's gonna do to the training and nutrition space. Until next time.